The S6 takes some of the best videos and photos of any phone on the market. Now let's check out what I found. So the phone has a 16 megapixel rear cam and a 5 megapixel front cam. Both cameras have an f-stop of 1.9, meaning greater light exposure. When I want to take a picture, I want to take it now. So all I need to do to put that rear camera to use, double click the home button. With the S6, as soon as the phone's powered on, the camera hardware loads to standby. The S6 has improved autofocus, allowing you to get your subject into focus very quickly no matter where they are in your frame. Then, if you zoom in, you see just how crisp and clear these photos really are, thanks to that 16 megapixel rear cam. The S6 also has tracking autofocus, which allows you to keep your subject in frame no matter where they go. Super easy user interface with a variety of camera modes lets you take pictures just the way you want to. The phone also has a pro mode. It allows you to make a lot of the decisions you would ordinarily make using a DSLR, and then once you find your groove, you can customize and save your settings. As I talked about, both cameras on the S6 have a lower f-stop. What that means is greater light exposure. No matter where you are, your pictures are going to look fantastic. The rear cam allows for 34% greater light. The front cam has 60% more light, and for the first time, HDR, meaning I can take a backlit selfie and then preview it with HDR turned on, off, or adjusting automatically, all in real time. Thanks to its optical image stabilization feature, the S6 also really shines when recording video. In low light, thanks to the phone's ability to combine four frames into one, making your videos even brighter without you even realizing it. Fast motion or slow. I can even edit my videos and control the speed so whatever I put out looks exactly the way I want it to. That's it for now. If you want to learn more about the S6, check out my other videos on device design and hardware. Thanks for watching.